All right. Um, we've all heard the, fri uh, the phrase, silence means consent. Uh, Martin Luther King once said that evil is perpetrated in the world when good men stand by and say nothing. Uh, this is especially true for um, the South and the slavery issue. If good men had stood by, slavery would never have ended in the South. Uh, my three main points are, when you fail to say anything, you don't represent your beliefs. Uh, you achieve more by saying, uh, by, by, you achieve more by voicing your opinions, and you discourage extended, when, when you fail to speak, you discourage extended thought on the subject. Okay, so my first main point, uh, you fail to voice your opinions. When people know something about you, they're more likely to be able to help you or or tell you what you're good at. Like when you have a problem at work, maybe you're bought, maybe you voice your opinion that you don't like to cashier at the front, so you like to do backstock. Maybe your boss or manager or night supervisor will stick you in the back instead of making you go up front. My second opinion, or my second main point, you discourage extended thought on the subject when um, when people don't voice opinions then people don't look at it from multiple angles. The more opinions you have out there, the more people are gonna critique those opinions and the more ideas are gonna be generated. It's kinda helpful when you're brainstorming. That's kinda why we do peer review in college. Um, my third main point, you can achieve more by voicing your opinions. Like, your bosses want to hear your opinion on some things. Like, we've all had a date where they say, do I look good in this? Well, if they look bad, you kind of want to tell them so they don't embarrass themselves. Um, so, silence means consent. You always want to avoid silence for three main reasons. You stand, you, you fail to stand and voice your beliefs, you discourage extended thought on the subject, and you can achieve more by voicing your opinions. Thank you.